I want to talk about the Hank Lundy versus a Jose fight tonight. Both of these guys are good fighters, and they were um, they were both Hank Lundy had a, they had a lot of expectation for him until he, until he got stopped by uh, Molina. He had he even had his own little sad story going on before the fight. You know how a lot of these people like uh, Mares and uh, everyone seems to have their own sad story. You know they people eating out of dumpsters like DeMarco and I think Hank Lundy I forget what his sad story was but I think he didn't have a dad or something I don't know <laughs> but anyway uh he um he was supposed to be this the next big thing you know and then he got knocked out by Molina and he's lost his last two fights Bell I think he fought Beltran and then he fought some other guy I don't know I, I didn't see the last one I just saw the build trend, and I saw his. Uh, um, I think I saw like two other fights he had. I know the Molina fight. I saw that one, and um, he'll be fighting a uh a Jose. I don't know if I'm saying the last name right. Um, he was also one of like someone who was more um, avoided. You know, no one wanted to fight him. Only I guess partly because uh, he didn't have a big name. And I guess the risk versus the reward wasn't good. And um, he finally got a shot at Lucas Matisse. He got stopped. But he was doing actually pretty good. I like the way he moves around the ring. He's a little slick. He move, he evades punches without pick, without blocking. You know, he moves his head around. He he has his uh, little style. I like it. Hank Lundy's going to have the speed and the power advantage. But I don't think he has enough power to take out a Jose. Um, a Jose has a good chin. He took a lot. I mean, he took a good beating against uh, Matisse, and he's. He, I thought he was gonna go a couple times. I thought he should have went down, and he didn't. He just he kept he went a lot longer than I expected him to. He, it, it actually shows he he knows how to survive, even though he he couldn't finish the whole fight, but <clears throat> he did he did a pretty good job for those punches he was taking, and um, he's a good survivor. Uh, he's, I mean, he's, he got stopped by someone who's been stopping almost everybody. So I think a Jose wins this, but based on, based merely on the fact that Lundy's lost his last two fights, he's been knocked out and a Jose's only lost one <clears throat> and he did put on a good show versus Lucas. And I think they're going to end up giving him the nod you know the fights, the judge. I is somehow this is how it always works. I think this is a way of them building up a Jose for a possible fight with someone later down the road. I I I see him moving around the ring and avoiding Lundy's speed and power, and um, outboxing Lundy for the decision. Somehow it always comes down to when the there's one fighter who's been losing and then one fighter who's who's maybe lost one, and then they get these these last chances on ESPN, and then they end up giving the nod to the person who's who's not on the losing streak. You know, the one they think is going to... I'm not saying they... <laughs> I'm not saying it's under the table. Um, judges are in the pocket or anything. I'm just saying... I think I have a feeling that this, the decision is going to go in the Josie's favor, even if it's a real close fight. And it it might even come down to where we, I think, it might even come down to where Lundy might actually be winning the fight. But I think the decision is going to end up going towards a Jose. I'll be back tonight for the post fight video. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm not, I'll rub it in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>